While small in size, these white flies are capable of big damage in cotton and vegetable crops around South Georgia as they can transmit a number of different viruses to the plant. And even though the severity varies from year to year, they do remain a persistent issue for the growers. White fly itself has been a problem for two decades now, somewhere in that range. Uh, we always have some problems with it in parts of the state, primarily Tiff County, Colquitt County is where we have consistent problems with it. It's just a question of how bad it's going to be, how widespread it's going to be. That's why the USDA has issued a more than $3 million grant to fund a joint project aimed at finding long-term solutions to the problem. As UGA, Fort Valley State, and the USDA Research Services will team up to study the issue from all different angles. The goal for the overall project is really just trying to find better ways of managing white fly and the viruses that it transmits. Uh, we've got a lot of different people working on a lot of different aspects of the issue, but that's really the overall goal is, is trying to find solutions that will help growers produce crops. As for what farmers can do in the meantime with fall harvest right around the corner, identifying the problem early on, especially in areas more susceptible to the pest, is essential. An individual female can lay in the range of 300 eggs. In a very short time, they go through a life cycle in this kind of heat that we've been having in two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. So they can build up populations very rapidly. You can't wait and treat that kind of population. So in those situations, we're doing preventative treatments. You've got other areas in the state where we might be able to put out a squash plant and you might not see a white fly for two or three weeks. Those areas, they're monitoring the populations and then responding as those populations build. That preventative care is made even more necessary by the fact that most of the pesticides used to treat the problem have to be applied early on. We pretty much have white flies, again, in Colquitt and Tiff County every year. So we're putting out preventative treatments and then managing during the season as well. We have uh, a lot of different chemistries, but most all of them work only on the nymph stages. They will not kill adults very well. So again, you can't let a population build up and then try to knock it down. You've got to be a little more preventative. However, it is an issue growers are much more aware of now after these pests devastated a number of fall crops back in 2017. We pay more attention to getting rid of crops when we're done with them so that we're not producing white flies when, the, when that season's over. Uh, there's a lot of cotton growers that in 2017 had never had white flies before. Uh, they realize the, the potential problem it can be, so they're attacking it much more rapidly than they would in the past. Reporting from Tifton. I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.